Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, so we're going to tie a, it's like a mirror's mouse type fly. Uh, so the idea is that it's a bulky fly and uh, moves a lot of water. So this is going to be the yellow uh, mouse fly. So this is an articulated fly. So to start off with what I'm doing here is I have a 6.0 Sukuma Manta 470 top gun, but again, any sort of hook that suits your preference. And we're gonna use the heavy gel spawn to tie this. So we put, uh, put on a layer of thread, then a bit of super glue, and then wind back over into the super glue and back and this will just adhere all to the shank and gives a good start, steady uh, platform. So next I'm going to take some of this crystal hair here. So, so some sort of flash basically that suits the colour scheme that you're going to, to tie in. So I'm going to take a few fibres of that. Set that on the top. Fold it back on itself. And wrap back over that. And that'll give us our sort of tinsel core to the tail. So next what we're going to do is we're going to create the tail out of slapping feathers. And I'm looking to use some of the fluffy portion at the bottom, but not all of it. So we're just going to trip that, trim that off. And I'm going to tie on two that are sort of curving out. Just for that extra motion that that'll give. into that a little bit of super glue into the wrappings there and then I'm going to put another couple on uh, but the other way around so curving in so we'll just set them on the outside or the top whichever way you want to look at of those Bind them down and again a bit of super glue. So to take this up and fill this out, we want to start to get a bit of taper to this fly, so we're going to use some fox. This is a yellow fox because we're tying a yellow version of it. And for these flies I would use sort of the stiffish stuff that probably isn't a huge pile of use for salmon flies. Pull out the very short under fur there. I'm going to split this bunch in two. I'm going to turn it around. Tie over, tie nice and tight into it. That'll create a neck. Fold that back. Take the thread in front of it. Little bit of glue and wrap into the glue up to it and that'll keep it folded back and then we'll go again in front of that I'm just going to glue my thread a little bit here and wrap over my wraps in the center of that and then fold all this out and pop it back with the big straw. Come to the front of that. Get ahead and finish that. Trim it off. And super glue that to set it. So 
if you're making several with different colors etc you can make these and set them aside and then next we need uh, to create a shank because this is a, a an articulated fly so for this I've created a shank here as you can see uh, one eye is horizontal the other one is vertical because the eye in this is horizontal so if we put the vertical eye into that we'll then have this one flat or horizontal as per our normal eyes so we move that forward into the vise and then we'll swap over and uh, tie the front part of the fly so we take the gel spun and start to bind these together run super glue on and then wrap into the super glue and that will steady up our mount so uh, first portion of this fly is another fox portion so it's the same uh, foxes we used before again turn it upside down and we can just get out the short rubbish out of it glue the thread and wrap into our wrappings there and this just uh, gives us continuity between uh, the rear section and the front section covers up the join that we have here so next uh, we're going to use some bucktail and that's uh, just to give us a little bit of flare and body to the fly but also the uh, the bucktail being flared out like that will aid the water resistance of the fly so the amount of water that it moves and So this is like a sunburst yellow, so I'm going to put that in, let it splay all around, put on a loose lap and tighten into it, and as you can see it will splay out. This bit here, you can trim off if you want, but I'm just going to force it back, because to me the more the merrier for the bulk and the resistance so right so having that one in what we're going to do is transfer to the yellow bucktail so I'm going to take a bunch of yellow and do the same thing let it splay around put on a loose wrap and then tighten into it So, um, now this fly up to yourself, but you could do this without any weight, in which case it'll probably practically float, I would think. Or you can add some sort of dumbbells in here for weight. So, I'm gonna add a couple 
of Bill. So these are sort of big, I don't know, predator or bass or something type dumbbells. So set that on the underside and figure a bait wrap across it. Flip it over, make sure it's straight. And then add a bit of super glue to hold it in place. So this is almost totally going to be obscured by the rest of the tying. So don't be overly worried about what it looks like. So next we're going to move to the back of our bucktail. Now this stuff at the back of the bucktail is very like deer hair. It has that uh, foamy almost too. property. So we're going to cut a bit of that off. Get the under fur out of it. And I'm going to set this on on the top. And you notice I'm leaving maybe 15-20 mil sticking out the front here. And I'm going to put a lap on that in behind the eyes and tighten down into it. And then a few wraps into that just to uh, secure it. Then we'll turn the thing over and we'll take another bunch and do the same. Now the bucktail has a little bit of a curve to it. I'd be inclined to have that curve going like this rather than like that. So we'll set that into roughly the same length. Again, loose lap up in over it and pull down tighten. The eyes will throw it back in behind. As you can see, it's making a modeler type head. So, get that pushed back. Come up in, in front of the eyes with your thread. And then I'm just going to get in here to the base of it with the super glue and allow a little bit of super glue to wick down into that while I hold it up flat, flip it over and do the same on the bottom. So now we move to the front of it and we're using the same stuff. Take a bunch of it. Set it on. This time it's going to flare probably the whole way around. Pull nice and tight into that. Now, we still have a bit of room to the front of the eye, so what that can be taken up by is, is you sort of wiggle wrap through this stuff. And so it'll find its own way in uh, between the fibres, but it'll also tie sequentially a few of them in by a mill, by a mill, by a mill. And that advances the head forwards towards the eye. So when you get to the front of it, you just fold all this back and take your thread in front. And then whip. I'll do it a couple of times. Put that off. And that is our fly tight. So the idea is that it is quite messy at the front of the head. Now, I'm going to leave this as it is, but if you really wanted to, you could add eyes into this. But uh, what you'd have to do for that is shave a little portion uh, for them to sit into. So, just super glue all that, and then stroke this back, and that'll give us our head shape. And then any bits that we don't like we can just give a bit of a trim. So 
that is our fly tide. So, as you can see, we have a fly 8-9 inches long, big bulky head on it, and plenty of bulk here, so it should flutter slowly down through the water. So hopefully you like what you've seen. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, uh, check out all the other videos on the channel, tell your friends, and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.